What is up, my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Ah, here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah, it's spring again. So you know what that means. That means it's time for car shows, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm getting this car ready so I can go to a couple car shows, so I can meet some of you guys, because I find that car people are some of the coolest people on the planet Earth. I, so, I'm sitting there, you know, looking at some of my emails that I get and comments and everything, which is really cool. Keep them coming, keep them coming. And a, a couple people are asking about oil sumps and front and the difference between front and rear oil sump. And, you know, like I always say, there's no stupid question. The only stupid questions are the ones that's not asked, and I'm glad you asked that. So I figured I'd do a video on that real quick. So what I did was I went to my shed, got my old oil pan, so I can demonstrate what the difference is between the two and if you need to convert it because the guy wanted to know if he should convert his car who, uh, to a rear sump. But let's go over there, right over there, right there, where I got the pan so I could do some more explaining. Come on with me, come on. Now for demonstration purposes, I went to the shed and I pulled out this old LS oil pan. I think it's from, I think it's from this LY6 that I had in the Chevelle. Hmm. Well anyways, so I was able to pull this pan out, and I wanted to show you, you know, what a rear sump oil pan looks like. This is a rear sump oil pan. All right, now here's the pickup tube, and we'll go over this a little bit later. All right, so basically, the oil pan's going to sit in here. This is the front of the car, and this is the front of the engine, this is the back of the engine. So the oil gathers up in this area right here, and then you have a tube right here which is submerged in oil. Right, there's what the sump looks like, even though mine's a little dirty because like I said, it was in the shed and there's leaves in there. But anyways, take out the leaves, clean it up, and you have what's known as the sump where the oil gathers. And again, here goes that pickup tube. So the pickup tube will sit in these little tabs or where they bolt to the, to the engine, and it sits in there like this. So the, so the pickup, which this is, this picks up the oil and brings it to the engine. Brings it, uh, brings it to the engine. And uh, so it pretty much is like a vacuum. At this end, you have the oil pump. So you have an O-ring and it goes right to the oil pump. And so basically what's supposed to happen is suck up the oil, go to where it needs to go, and then it drops back down to the pan, back into here, and then just re re redo it all over again. All right, so this is a rear sump oil pan. All right, now a front sump oil pan is pretty much, again, front of the engine. The sump is in the front. I, the only problem that I see with a front sump oil pan is the pickup tube is right here. It's not long like this. It's a short pickup tube and it goes right here, something like this, and it goes right to the oil pump, just like the rear sump. But the problem is, upon acceleration, what's gonna happen? The car is gonna pick up and the oil is gonna slosh back. So, with a front sump, you better make sure you have enough oil in there because with the rear sump, which is better, the oil will go back to where the pickup is. The front sump, when you're accelerating hard, it's, the oil is going to kind of move way you know, to the back. It's not going to go all back here and everything like that unless you're low on oil. That's why it's very crucial, very crucial for like uh, a front sump or vehicle, let's see, like a GTO 2004 to 2006 GTO, Trailblazer SS, they're front sump pans. And there's a, there's, there's a bunch of cars that have front sumps, but you wanna make sure you have enough oil in there so it won't cause any damage. Now, to answer the, the subscriber's question, um, they make kits, like for the Trailblazer, for the GTO, they make kits where you have to change your pan, and what'll happen is, now you'll have a rear sump, and you have a different pickup tube, and it'll convert your, your truck, car, whatever, to a rear sump. Is it worth it to take the engine out to do this? That's on you. Now, if ever I have to replace, uh, do work on my uh, Trailblazer SS and I have to pull the engine, I probably will go that route. But for the meantime, being that I have a front sump, <laughs> what I usually do, I usually put an extra half quart to an extra quart of oil into when I do my oil changes. Because that way, I'm guaranteed that my oil, my, my pickup is submerged in oil, no matter how far it goes back, no matter how hard I accelerate, oil is gonna always be in the pickup and hopefully that'll prevent damage to the engine. 
And so I hope that answers your questions. And um, I really enjoy doing these videos for you. And I want to take this opportunity right now to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the love, all the attention. I know I always say it, but I couldn't mean it anymore. And I'm, I'm really, you know, like excited to do these videos. And if you like what you see, you know how to do it. Just subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Tell your friends about the videos, you know, and keep on looking. Because like I said, I can't do what I do if it's not from you, if it wasn't for you guys. So again, I'm looking at the clock on the wall. It's back, it's back where it usually is. Or should I say ceiling? <laughs> it's time for me to head on off. And hopefully, like I said, I'm gonna get back on this Chevelle and hopefully I get to see you guys at a car show. And if you see me at a car show, come up and say, yo, Ellis Crazy Amigos, give me a pound, give me a hug, what's up? Talk to me. I wanna know what you're talking about. I wanna know what you're doing with your ride. All right? So until the next time we meet, please, as always, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.